so I am at home now. We went grocery shopping. We went for a walk. Got home. I actually made myself fish tacos, which is actually really good. I will show you guys when I make it next. I went and picked up my bikinis that I'm wearing tomorrow for the event. Just popped a tan on. I'm still using and loving the um, Loving Tan Platinum Mousse. Love that. I put like one really thick layer on and it goes so dark on me. Like literally just one really big layer. I also forgot that I went to Mecca over the weekend and I just got some top ups. I have loved this Dr. Dennis Grow Glow Pads for years. I've been repurchasing for years. Um, and it's the, it's just like little self tanning pads. What I actually do. So this Dr. Dennis Grow products are quite expensive. Like I think this was around $70, like $67. Um, so what I've been doing recently is like you get so much like liquid in this sachet. Like you get a really generous amount of liquid and then one like big um, pad. So what I do is I take it out, cut it in half because I only you only really need to use like the littlest bit. Um, so I cut it in half, use half of a pad on my face is what I just did. And then I'll put the other half in for like three days from now. So then I've got two pads to use throughout the week because you can like it obviously does fade on your face, but it does probably last like two to three days. So then I'll pop on the other half of it. Um, yeah, in like three days from now, but I absolutely love them. Like literally you look like a different person. I don't recommend these enough. Hopefully they don't sell out now. Um, and then I have bought these in the past. Um, I probably haven't used these ones in about a year, but I remember how much my skin loved them. So it's the same sort of concept. They are, like a, it's like a peel, like at home peel. What does it say? Exfoliate and smooth anti-aging neutralizer. So there's two sachets per um, peel. So from what I remember, one of them feels a bit tingly and then one of them feels soothing. So it's like, yeah, a face peel, but oh my God, like you just feel like a different person. Like Dr. Dennis Grow products are so underrated. I never really see many people speak about them. They are so good. So yeah, I got some of those. Um, usually I do them like once a week, once every two weeks, just whenever I can remember. So I'm just going to put it here so I can remember to actually use them. But um, yeah, didn't actually go and end up picking up my cardio today. So I'm going to go do that tomorrow with mum in the morning. And then I've got the Remy event and yeah, then I've got to pack for Sydney on Sunday. Good morning, everyone. I'm up bright and early. Well, it's actually not that bright and early. I just um, washed my hair, did my makeup for the event today. I think I probably will add some eyeshadow when I get home to get changed, but I just wanted to get like the majority of my makeup done. Yeah, I think I might just make a quick protein shake for the road. And yeah, that's been my morning so far. Sorry, I didn't vlog this morning. I was kind of like in a rush to um, get up. Pretty much packed, so I didn't really pack last night. I caught up with my friend Vic. She's back from um, the UK and I didn't end up going to sleep until like 12 o'clock and had to wake up earlier and pack, but it was a whole thing. Anyways, I'm here now. Um, I just checked into the hotel that Stax put me in um, for tonight and then they're picking me up tomorrow for the little retreat, which is super cool um, This hotel is really really cool. So when I got here um, There was like all these desks and you can like do your own self-service check-in and check out which is I've never seen that in a hotel and why don't like hotels have that like so so easy I'll give you guys a room tour It's called little national hotel and it's super close to Pitt Street, which I'm definitely going to go to um, after I settle in. Yeah, it's literally like 500 meters from Pitt Street. So if you want to come to Sydney and do some shopping, this is cute. And then we've got like two full length mirrors here that we love. And then the bed and then the view is just of the city, I guess. I don't even know if that opens or not. Anyways, got this cute little Chalky, which I'll be definitely having later. The bed, little table, I'm just unpacking now. And then, yeah, 
little kitchenette and that's it but yeah like i said i need to charge my phone so i'm gonna just chill here for a bit and then i'm just gonna go walk around um pitt street have a bit of a shop and yeah go get something to eat because i actually haven't had breakfast i forgot I forgot about the time difference as well. Um, so when I landed, I was so confused when I looked at my phone. But um, yeah, they've got daylight savings here and it's almost 12 o'clock. So I haven't actually had anything to eat. I've only had a coffee at the airport. So I'm gonna go find something to eat and then do some shopping. while shopping like I don't mind doing it like on the streets but it's just awkward once you're like in a shop especially if someone's yeah. like can I help you or you're just browsing and there's like people around so I always say like oh I'll bring you along but let's be real I'm never whipping out the camera but I did do some damage at Sephora and Mecca so I will show you when I get back to the hotel um, I'm actually quite thirsty so I'm gonna go get something to drink and yeah okay i'm back from hours of walking around it seemed like but i did get the goods so i went to mecca and sephora i did go into uh david jones and maya so i could try and find a dress for my two events that i've got coming up riley's engagement and then peter's sister's wedding but there, there must have been like this massive sale on but like everything was like it was chaos like I, I literally couldn't even breathe in there. There was like so many clothes in like one combined spot, like on multiple racks. And I was just confused. And there were so many people there. And I was like, I'm not doing this. I literally just went into Sephora to get another one of my favorite lip liners. It is the Huda Beauty Pinky Brown. I actually, I think I've lost one that I recently bought. I don't know where it is because I've only got one left. And then what is this? She put in some... Skin Resilience Activating Cream Samples. No idea what brand that is, but that's what I got from Sephora. And then I actually went a bit ham at Mecca. So every time I see this, I just get it because, yeah, it's kind of hard to get. Every time I used to go to Mecca to stock up, they didn't have any. So I was like, if it's there, I'm doing it. Um, I needed a new moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I'm using at the moment is I'm using like a bunch of random brands. I use some Genora. Laneige, I've got a Fenty one, I've got a Medic 8 one, and I just, it like my skincare routine really isn't like that consistent. Like I literally just grab whatever is in vision. Like I don't have like a proper, proper routine, which I probably need to. Um, but I needed some new moisturizer because I'm actually running low on like my moisturizers. So I got this Drunk Elephant one. I've always heard good things about Drunk Elephant, but I haven't really tried their skincare properly. I just got a top up of my favorite bronzer. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Bronzer. Love it. Luminous Bronze Light. So I got a top up of that. And I got this concealer by the brand Kosas, influenced by TikTok and Instagram. I see a lot of people using this brand and I'm very intrigued. So apparently their concealer is really good. I got it in shade 3.5W. I think I'm just going to relax for a bit, charge my phone, and I need to prepare my vlog that's going up tomorrow actually. But yeah, I might just relax. I was going to catch up with a few friends while I was here, but they can't tonight. Which, I mean, is probably a good thing because I did say that I did want to, you know, have a little me night. But yeah, that's basically what I've done. So yeah, I'm going to go take this makeup off, I think. Maybe go have a shower, get into a robe. And yeah, just relax for the rest of the afternoon.
check out. We've got um, someone picking up Connor and I. She's actually staying in this hotel as well. This is the fit, but I most probably will be wearing like the new collection, um, which will be there. But yeah, exciting. Whoa, fancy. Where did Connor go? Oh, like, where did you go? <laughs> That is so cool. Okay, we've just checked into this amazing room. We're like in awe. Like, cute snacks. This is our cute view. Yeah. And then, this is the bathroom. We've got our activewear there. Oh my god, it looks like lockers. Very cool. Shower. Bar. Dead. This room, honestly, is unreal. I'm sharing with Connor. So cute. You would have obviously seen me do a little... Um, room tour but we're off to lunch that's the first thing on our itinerary i'm wearing one of their new sports bras and then the leggings which are it kind of gives me like seamless vibes but just like a bit thicker um but like in the best black sort of fabric if that makes sense i'm gonna take this bum bag as well so i can put my camera in it so i can vlog lunch but yeah we're going on a hike after lunch as well so that'll be interesting <laughs> home i feel like i haven't really like chatted much obviously we had the stacks retreat last night and it was so wholesome it was so cool so yeah i came back from that yesterday i have like my first proper like breakout i actually literally can't remember the last time i got like a breakout like this and i can't really think of why like i did buy this which i showed you guys but surely it can't be that it's like literally just a moisturizer isn't it because that's the only new thing that i've been using i'm going to keep using it and see if it clears up and if it doesn't i'll stop using it and then i'll see if that's the reason but surely not like everyone raves about drunk elephant um but yeah anyways so that's happened um just putting my spf on and just putting a bit of a face on and then off to the warehouse because we are launching these necklaces today, which is exciting. And then the earrings as well. And then we've got another pair of um, hoop earrings. Do I have them here? Yeah, these ones. They are all going to be online today. So you guys can shop them. Oh my God, I actually can't believe I've got so many like, big ones. as well. Like, this is really painful, this one. I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on to cover them. Oh, maybe I should try that. Um, oh, no. Nah. I'm going to try my new one, but I'll just do it with this one. This one's the Model Co. one, which I actually really like, to be honest. I also used some new tanning drops yesterday, but I feel like they didn't even really work on my skin. These ones, I got them in PR, Self Tan Lux Tan Tonic Drops. Well, compared to the other tanning drops that I've used, I feel like it didn't really give me that much colour. Maybe I've got to use more. You see, that pimple's like scabbing. 
really quickly, I've got the new Stax Core on. And oh my God, these um, bike pants fit so well. This is them, they've got the pockets. They're like just not too tight, not too tight around here. Love, I've actually just got one of their um, tank tops on over the top. But yeah, this is like their, it's like more charcoal in real life, but it kind of looks blue in the camera. But yeah, I actually, I want to get these in other colors. I think I only got the bike pair. I think it's like the midi length. I only got these in the one color, but I'm going to have to go online and grab the others. Anyways, someone just started renovating. <laughs> currently on the way to a dress hire place um, so I can try on a few dresses for my events coming up okay yeah so I'm going to Maddie's and then I have to go to the warehouse as well to obviously pack orders and do all the things it's actually so hard <laughs> like running a business and also running my own business We're running two businesses basically that are full-time by yourself um, but yeah, anyways, I'll work everything out. Hello everyone, happy Friday. As you saw, I went into Dress by Jazz to try on a few dresses, which I Ended up loving two, which is good because I ended up actually hiring them both just to see which ones um, I liked on the day. Anyways, I'm in the warehouse. I just heated up a Chef Good meal. This is one of their new meals. It's the healthy chicken parmigiana with sweet potato. It's actually really yum. I'm really high protein as well. I've been trying to obviously prioritize my protein um, because... When I tracked, I realized I have been having under like 80 grams of protein, which for my body weight is not good. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to prioritize protein in my meals. So yeah, this one's got 60 grams of protein. I've been aiming for like around 110, 120 grams per day. Anyways, I just got to the warehouse. Where is the aircon? It is so hot. Where's the aircon remote? The oh, here. Um, yeah, it's so muggy today. It's like raining but hot typical gold coast weather um but yeah i'm gonna finish my lunch i also need to put my christmas tree back in its box i did start it yesterday so i'm gonna do that i also like deep cleaned um half of this level yesterday which feels really good it looks really nice i just ended up ordering another desk actually so i got another desk on the way so we've got three desks um, but yeah, that's all I have to really, I guess, update you guys with. Yeah. Hello. So I just got a really exciting delivery. I wouldn't normally show this on my vlog until like, like the launch, but I'm just really freaking happy about it. And I feel like you guys are like my fam. So anyways, we have got, which I just put online. Valentine's Day gift boxes. How freaking cute are they? Pick the new logo. And then we also have like non, um, non Valentine's Day boxes as well, which is like a cute cream color with like a beige logo and white ribbon. I kind of wish now I did black ribbon because the black would match the inside of the new packaging, which I'm obsessed with. So chic. And I did want to obviously keep the environment in mind. So my current jewelry packaging is cardboard. It is fully recyclable. Um, but I just, I just really love the look of just like a sleek craft box. It's magnetic. Obviously you can use this as like a keepsake, like jewelry box. Um, and yeah, I just, I love the new look. Mailer boxes still haven't arrived yet. So I'll show you guys that when they arrive. But I did get my... Um, 
thank you cards, which if you've placed an order within the last week, you probably would have seen already. But these are the new thank you cards with Caitlin on them. So cute. And then this is the back, which has a little QR code, which is super cool um, for all of your care instructions. So instead of like making these again, um, yeah, I've just incorporated it all in the one thank you card to save materials. And yeah, I just, that was a cool little touch. So they are the new thank you cards. And then we've got the Valentine's Day thank you cards, which is just a red color that matches the gift box, which is a nice little touch. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm just about to pack some orders now. I actually just got an order message from, let's have a look. Her name is Jen and she is from Melbourne. She said, please mention this on your next vlog, pretty please. My name is Jen from Melbourne and I just love ya. So I'm gonna pack your order. She ordered the silver Paloma necklace with the black rope. Let's find it. Here she is. Should I give her the new packaging? You know what, I'm gonna give you the new packaging so you can be the first person, even though it hasn't launched yet, to get the new packaging. Obviously I have to still um, use up all my old packaging first, which is, I still have quite a few boxes left, but they will not last very long, especially over Valentine's Day. Okay, let's get a box. Uh, also, obviously within business, there's gonna be fails and one of my ideas ended up being a fail. I don't know if it was my fault or their fault um, in picking the color of the insert, but I thought let's do like a matching insert. So usually the inserts are black in all of my boxes, but I was like, you know what? Let's spice it up and let's do red. It's just the wrong red. Like it's literally, I feel like it's not, that is not what it actually looks like. That actually, if it looked like that, I would be very happy. But in, in real life, it's like a bright fluoro red. Maybe you can kind of see it, but it just does not match the card. Does not match the card and it doesn't match the gift bag. So that was a complete fail. Luckily, I do have lots of spare inserts that I can just take them out and then put the black in. Obviously, you don't see these kinds of things in business because why would businesses show you guys the fails? But it does happen more often than you think. And I will, next time I something happens, I will show you guys because that's the reality of owning a business. Like not everything runs smoothly and not everything goes to plan. That's the black rope with the silver. We'll chuck it in. So cute. Still have our old mailer boxes though because they still haven't arrived yet. So I'm just gonna pack it in our old mailers. Chuck it in. Thank you card. And that's it. Anyways, I've got an hour to do the rest of the orders, so I will quickly do that and I will speak to you guys a bit later. done is vlogged in my warehouse but it is currently Saturday night this morning we actually went for a big 10k walk which was nice um, and yeah I've just been organizing some PR send outs that we're aiming to get out next week so I've just been organizing all of them I'm gonna go quickly to Coles and grab some dinner I don't know what I want to eat for dinner I just had a chef good meal for lunch and yeah I don't know what I feel like I might even go home, pop on a fake tan, just relax, maybe do a face mask. But yeah, I just thought I'd jump on and give you guys an update because yeah, my days haven't really been that exciting. Like it's been pretty repetitive, especially because it has been majority me running 
the business um, for the past like couple weeks. But uh, yeah, on Monday we have a new girl starting her trial. We're going to do a trial. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then we have another girl starting um, like towards the end of January. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'm going to pack up now, do a quick vacuum and yeah, head to Colts. Something scary about like being around warehouses at night. So I've just like turned the vlog camera on just in case because I'm like low-key scared. I need to open the gate. Is it open? Oh, it's open, I just couldn't see. Yeah, I don't know, it's like all like funny. I've never really like come here at night, obviously, because I work during the day. So I'm just like, this is fucking weird. Anyways. I'm off to Coles, but yeah, I just need you for moral support. <laughs> There's literally no one here, like obviously, but it's just weird. Me, almost 30 and still scared of the dark, so yeah. Morning. Happy sunday i almost forgot what bloody day it was i'm just about to go for a walk i'm gonna go meet riley i feel like i haven't caught up with her in so long but we've both been so busy and obviously she's been planning so many events like her swim event and now her engagement which i could imagine would be um yeah just very time consuming to organize everything especially because it's in new zealand um but yeah, I think I am organized for New Zealand. I think I've got the dress. I'm gonna go pick it up next week. Um, but yeah, I'm off to go and meet Riley. And then I think we're gonna go do a little shopping day. Peter wants to get something as well for the engagement. Um, so we might just go to pack fair and look around or whatever. Um, but yeah, just a chilled one. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to you later. Guess what? I got a freaking parking fine. I was just saying on my stories, I literally park there every day and pay for parking every day of my actual life. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I park at that exact spot, well not exact park, but like that area every day. And I pay for parking every day. And the one day I was distracted because Riley pulled up next to me, we obviously got chatting and I've, we've both completely forgotten to pay. It's literally like a dollar and we've both gotten $96 parking fines and the fuck thing is it was literally like seven minutes before we'd gotten back to the car <sighs> I can't believe that anyway serves us right like obviously we were in the wrong so I can't complain but like I can't believe I forgot to pay Anyways, I'm going to go and have breakfast. I actually prepared some overnight wheat bix yesterday. So I think I'm going to get some of my um, Macro Mike powdered peanut butter. Put that on top. And I also bought like mini packets of Oreos. That could be a vibe. I'll show you guys when I make it. Okay, this is breakfast. So I've got my usual cheesecake wheat bix situation. So two wheat bix crumbled. And then I add a little bit of almond milk and like press it down to the base of the container. Add the, this, one of these as a layer, the YoPro protein yogurt. And then I put it in the fridge to set overnight. And then I've just mixed up some Macro Mike powdered peanut butter. I forget that I have this. It's like in the um, back of my pantry. So I got a serving of that and then bought these yesterday and put them on top. How good. Yum.